Ah, what's up, guys? This is Mark from DSGD. And, um, <laughs> yeah, the hammer like let's forget to in my career. I like it. Uh, sorry, yeah, what's up? This is Mark from the SGD. And, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Right. Um, I got a request for a video. This dude on, he commented this morning. He commented like 10 minutes ago. So that's why I'm doing this video right now. He asked me to kind of talk about the suppliers that we use. Now, I have some videos on the top suppliers. Like, I have some specific videos on the advantages and disadvantages that I did, I don't know, like a year ago maybe, of each, of like Walmart, Amazon, and stuff. But I'll just talk in general, right? And I'll talk about my experience, I guess. So just to get a different perspective and you guys might get some different information. So, those, for the new guys, Dropshipping on eBay is more about retail arbitrage than it is about finding some fucking special um, supply. It turned into that, right? And it's getting hard. We know it's getting harder and harder with some of the stuff that we got hit with the taxes, but it is what it is. So we use various retailers to supply us with items to dropship on eBay. Some of them, Walmart, Target, Amazon, with your uh, hay needle, Sears, Kmart, and all those things. So let me just talk about me personally. Me personally, my suppliers are mixed. It's about 40% Walmart at this point, maybe five or 10% Amazon. So let's say it's 40% Walmart, 10% Amazon, about 20% Kmart, Sears. Um, that gives you 70 maybe like 10% Academy, 80, and the rest is mixed up of like Home Depot and, and just some random suppliers, right? Walmart, historically, in the past five years that I've been drop shipping, they've been a pain in the ass with, with delivery. They usually take long to deliver, long to give you tracking numbers and that type of stuff. Over the past, I wanna say six months, they've lowered the cost of shipping and they've been shipping fast. And that has changed a lot in the game. Um, so before that, I only had maybe, I had more Walmart supplies, more stuff that I sold from Walmart, sorry, Walmart items. And as Walmart got better and the competition got higher, I ended up having to lower the amount of items that I sell from Walmart just because of how com competitive it is, right? So that's why, as actually Walmart got better, I started to sell less because it was easier for more people to manage selling from Walmart. But I still managed to get 10% profit on most of my items. Amazon is a rough one. Amazon is solid with delivery. Um, you could use Prime, you can get multiple Prime accounts, all that bullshit. They, you get tracking numbers right away. But because so many people, this whole eBay dropshipping thing kind of started with dropshipping from Amazon to eBay. So there are tons and tons of people that use Amazon as a supplier. And a lot of them go for small margins, 2%, 3% only cash back. So generally speaking, although Amazon on the internet is more popularly marketed as a supplier, I use them in a small amount because of the size of the profit. Now, you've seen all these people moving because I cooked for these motherfuckers, sorry. Anyway, um, Academy. Academy is a solid one. Now, let me go back a bit. Walmart, they're good. Um, I happen to get gift cards at like 35 to 5% off, so that I get, I get that extra money back. And the cash back, I don't do cash back, but I know you can get cash back from top cash back with Walmart, which is good. Amazon, on the other hand, there isn't a reliable place outside of DSG to get Amazon gift cards for more than 1% off, but we give like 3.5% off, so that's sweet. Um, and there's, but there's very little, if not no cash back for Amazon. Um, Kmart Sears, like I like, Kmart and Sears has actually become a bigger supplier of mine for a number of reasons. A lot of people don't use them. A lot of people haven't been able to like figure out having multiple shop your way accounts yet and you can get gift card discounted at like 8% from Rails 
right? So that's a, you can pass. Fuck, you end up on YouTube, but hey, yeah, you you could um you could get eight percent off from raise between five and eight percent off, and that is a huge. That's almost your whole size of the profit. So once you stick to buying your gift cards, if you get the gift cards at raise, is and the ship really fast. So. K Walmart, I mean Kmart says is a good one because the fast shipping and the discounted cards, but it's kind of difficult to process fucking um, returns. Kmart says it could be a pain in the ass to get returns, especially from gift cards. When you do a return, they ship you the gift card to your address. They don't a different gift card. They don't just give you the um, refund. So that could be a challenge. But I mean, the interesting thing is. The suppliers with more challenges give you a higher profit margin. The church suppliers with less challenges give you a lower, a lower profit margin. So it's interesting for me because I take off the, take on the fucking challenge and make more money, right? So, so that's that. Academy now. Academy is an interesting one. It's Academy Sports for those of you guys who don't know. Um, the margins I get on Academy items are actually more than 12%. Um, and that's sweet. You can get Academy gift cards sometimes on raise for 8 to 10% off. I, let's say 6 to 10% off. And that's a huge deal also. I don't really, I haven't really done research on the Academy um, cashback. And, but you have some good items, right? And they do a lot of seasonal items. And it's crazy because I use the Academy homepage to get, because I don't live in the States. Like I don't, I'm not a consumer, right? So I don't keep up trends with what the fuck is selling. But I use the Academy homepage and the Walmart homepage to give me an idea of what seasonal and what to expect to sell. And if you use those, I don't like listing seasonal items. I said I've it before. But if you if you want to boost in sales, if you stick to listing only seasonal all year round, that's a, actually an interesting strategy. So so yeah, thanks for coming. I love you. That's I don't know if I hey needle and I don't really use Wayfair anymore because QG doesn't track it. He need a ship. It's okay. Home Depot is interesting. Back to Academy. Academy doesn't have free shipping on everything, so you have to check the pricing. A lot of stuff that I ship costs like eight dollars to ship, but at least they have fixed shipping on the website. Um, Home Depot is interesting because it's not a lot of competition. I've been able to get up to 20, 22 percent on Home Depot items, and and you get some gift cards on discount. Um, yeah, and that's all the main suppliers I use. There are other suppliers, right? But I just don't use them. Anyway, love you guys. Travel the world. Make that money. Subscribe, please. Try to get to 5,000 subscribers. And look in the description for the free training and the free mastermind group.